Hi guys, David White here again from the Access Group. Uh, once again we're in the kitchen and tonight is date night so I'm going to have to do something special so it won't take long. What we're going to have is pan fried pellet steak. We're going to do a scotch egg to go along with it. Some sticky cabbage. Uh, we've got some mushrooms and tomatoes to garnish it up with asparagus spears. Um, and of course, can't go without the beer so um, shouldn't take too long. Let's get going. Okay, so the first thing we need to start doing is we're going to boil some eggs to make the scotch egg because we want to have them set in time. So what we'll do is we'll get these on the cook straight away. We don't want to crack these as they go in, so we'll put them in with a spoon. And we'll do four eggs. And we'll cook them for three minutes. We're now going to prep up the potato because that's going to take the longest. So what we'll do is we'll top and tail these across the bread. And if you had a cutter, we could then use the cutter to cut these out. Instead, I'm just going to take my ring, cut through it with a knife, and then just square off the edges. Now these will take about 20 minutes to cook. Okay, so in the pan, we've got a little bit of olive oil. Let's get the potatoes straight into that. We'll let get a bit of colour onto the potato. And we'll get a little bit of salt in there as well. Salt in the egg pan. Alright, when they're starting to caramelise, we're going to start off the cabbage. And from here we need a pan of boiling water. And we're only going to use half this cabbage. And we'll quarter it to start off with. We'll wrap up that for another day. And then with the cabbage, you can see there's some nice contours. Take your knife in a backward action. Just start to push down through the cabbage. Turn them over, you can see it's starting to colour up quite nicely. And that's the paper starting to go off, so let's get these eggs out into some cold water and cool them down. We want these to be soft and runny in the middle. Put that to the side. Uh, now with the fondant potato, we'll add in some water. I've got a chicken stock cube sitting here as well. A little bit of pepper in there. And a sprig of rosemary, and I'll just pull it off. Stick the stock in as well. And a slice of butter over the top. And into the oven it goes. Now I'm cooking these at 200 degrees for roughly 20 minutes. 25 minutes on the clock. Okay, so we can discard the water for the eggs. Let's get the cabbage on the go. Boil in water. And a good glass of red wine. A bit of rosemary. Squeeze a lemon. A spoonful of red currant jelly. Salt. And pepper. Okay, so what we want to do with this is we want to reduce this right down until there's no more liquid and then we're going to caramelise that to make it nice and sticky. Uh, before we do that we're going to have a bit of clean up and then we'll get the next part prepped. Okay so what I'm going to do is prep up the veggies first. I'm probably going to just cook these, set them to the side 
We'll just pop it in the oven just before it's time to serve. So prepping asparagus, we aim for about an inch above where the end of the stalk is. Take off that woody part and we're not going to use that. We're now going to just take a knife right through half because I want to have the spears as the garnish and we can have these later on with the mushrooms. So to start off the cooking process, what we're going to do is take some of that olive oil we had earlier on, get that in there and I've got some shiitake mushrooms, I'm just going to keep them whole, get them straight in, a little bit of paper, a little bit of mould and salt, crushed garlic, I'm just going to keep this nice and chunky. And we'll just start to saute these mushrooms. Then we'll add in the uh, tomatoes and we'll add in the asparagus. Again, a little bit of olive oil over the top. A little bit more salt. And then we'll stick that to the side for five minutes. Control the heat on the mushrooms, just make sure that the oil doesn't burn. And we get a nice caramelisation on those mushrooms as we toss. Alright, so the mushrooms are coming along quite nicely. We're going to add in the uh, asparagus and the tomatoes. We'll give that another minute and then we'll set them off onto your tray and we'll flash them just before we serve it. So whilst we're waiting for the potatoes cooking, what we'll do is we'll season up these two fillet steaks. Roughly about 10 ounce each. With some fresh cracked black pepper. A good chunk of mold and salt. A nice drizzle of olive oil. and a little bit of rosemary and we'll set that to the side until it's ready to cook them okay so we've got the eggs cooked now we want to get the eggs covered inside the sausage mate and what I'm going to do is roll out a ball which should, should allow me to cover the whole egg in one movement I'm doing this on cling foam so it doesn't stick and I'm just patching this up to make it nice and thin so it cooks properly. Put the egg in the middle. And then pull up just to capture it inside a pouch. Once in, we'll just Seal it up. And we're going to get it into the flour. Okay, so doing the panny, we've got the flour on top of the, the meat, which is going to help stick to the egg. And when you crack the egg, one hit on the deck, finger and thumb in the middle, finger and thumb in the top, push it open, we're good to go. Take a little bit of water. A little bit of water to help break in the, the egg white. Take the egg and give it a good roll around in that egg. We'll do a first pass. We come back. Touch it up. And we do a second pass. Just give it a final gentle shake. And normally we put these back in the fridge to harden up and then we'd do another panny on them, but just because it's for us, we'll get them straight in the fryer and get them cooked. 
I've set the fry at 170 degrees and those will take about three to four minutes to cook. So we'll do that just before we serve them. All right, so the potatoes are now ready. What we're gonna do is get them out of the pan, set them inside the mushrooms and the uh, tomatoes. We're going to wash this pan so we can just give it a little bit more sauce. And we're going to wash this pan and get it on for the steaks. Alright, so how to cook a steak? We've got the steak been sitting here in room temperature for about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, we can see that the uh, cabbage is starting just down now, so that's only going to take 10 more minutes. So let's get these cooked. They are quite heavy. So with the oil being on, what I've done is made the pan as hot as possible. I'm now going to just capture any of the seasoning that we've missed off, put that into the dry pan and then we're going to leave that to fry for about three minutes each side. And I'm going to have these medium rare so I'm going to give it about another five or six minutes in the oven just to rest out at about 140 along with the mushrooms. By that time the cabbage will be sticky and we'll be good to go fry the egg. Alright, so we're going to turn this for the first time. That's been about three minutes, and you can see it's nicely caramelised. Same with the other one. And again, just give that another three minutes, and we'll get them in the oven. Okay, whilst that's coming up, we're going to then drop these eggs. We can give them about six or seven minutes. another three minutes on the other side and you can see that's nice and caramelized as well now we can get them in the oven let's see about well, i've changed it to about 170 for about six minutes in the meantime let's make this cabbage a little stickier we're going to reduce this down until there's no liquid left and we'll start to fry it Okay, whilst well, so waiting for that to get sticky, the eggs are now ready. So we'll just leave them sitting to drain. And we'll get them onto a bit of paper and stick them into the side and we'll have them ready to go as well. So a little bit to go with the steaks, another two to three minutes. You see this cabbage is starting to turn a little bit. This is starting to stick and you should smell the caramelization at this point. Don't turn the heat down, just keep it going. We want to get this nice and sticky and reduce that bulk down. It's just not moving at this time and just keep an eye on it. It's only about another minute to a minute and a half away from being ready. Just taking the steaks out. They're nice and ready. This one's a bit rarer than this. This is medium rare here. This one's rare. I'll take the rare one. And we'll let that rest for a couple of minutes before we start to plate it up. Alright, the cabbage is now nice and sticky. You see how that's reduced down nicely. It's started to caramelise. The colours went richer. So let's start plating up. So the first thing we want to do is get the cabbage into the moulds. So we've got a mould sitting here. I'm going to put the cabbage in here, I'm just going to press that down. And take a couple of the tomatoes. One of the potatoes. Mushrooms. Asparagus spears. We have the egg. And we have our pan fried steak. I 
And there we have it. Pan fry fillet steak, scotch egg, braised cabbage. And a very tasty date night. So thanks guys. See you next time.